is is Dean here. Um, just posting a video talking about a verse from you know, from the Bible. I'm just going to talk about it and how it applies to Christians. But before that, I just want to say hey to some of the people from the Solar Rock Baptist Church. Um, hope you guys are doing all right. Hope we are seeking the face of God through all trials and tribulations that God is able and that God is always in control regardless. And just keep seeking the face of God. Know that God is uh, with you guys. And I'm praying for you. Um, just know that you know the Lord, you know, He never leaves us, nor forsakes us. And, you know, that's a promise. You know, it's not. It's not. You know, He's not. He doesn't just say it, but it's a promise for us. And just to remember that. And for your and also pray for your pastor. Pray for him just to, you know, keep walking with God and just um, keep praying for all your pastors in your church, like and Pastor Justin and Pastor Mike Clark, and you know, all of them. Just keep praying for them and um, you know, <laughs> love. <them. laughs> But also wanted to talk to say hope you Kiana and Michaela and Lance and hope you guys are doing all right. Hope you are just um, walking with God and all that. God's with you guys and I'm really hope you guys are doing all right, especially you Kiana, because <laughs> you're like my best friend. No, but I um, hope you're you guys are all right and I'm um, praying that you know the Lord's always just going to be with you guys and just um, no matter what struggles you go through, know that God is able and just um, yeah, it's for you. <laughs> Now talk about the verse, which is Hebrews chapter 11, verses 1 to 6. So I'm going to read it now, and it says, Now faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. For by it the elders obtained a good report. Through faith we understand that the worlds were framed by the word of God, so that things which are seen were not made of things which do appear. By faith, Abel offered unto God a more excellent sacrifice than Cain by which he obtained witness that he was righteous, God testifying of his gifts, and by it he being dead, yet speaketh. By faith Enoch was translated that he should not see death, and was not found because God had translated him, for before his translation he had his testimony that he pleased God. But without faith it is impossible to please him, for he that cometh to God must believe that he is, and that he is a rewarder of them that diligently seek him. So I kind of just looked at this verse and this came to my mind by faith. All these kind of other people, and he even goes on to talk about Noah and Sarah and so on, um, and Abraham and Sarah. But it's so interesting that it's like by faith, you know, these people were still remembered by faith, by faith, by faith, by faith. And it's like every moment, every time you go out to church, every time you go talking to people, soul winning, going to school, you know, you're not just talking about a religion. You know, it's not just, oh, you're kind of just saying it because you know you were brought up in a in a religious home, so you kind of say these different things. But it's by faith; it's what you believe. First one says, "Now faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen." See, by our faith and by Abel's faith, Enoch's faith, Noah and you know Abraham and Sarah, their faith, you know that was an example. That was the evidence of Christ, the evidence of God. You can see people um, want to see God, want to see the truth, but they can see it through us. As Christians because it's by our faith and by what we do and by what we say and by how we live that shows and gives glory to God because when we walk with the Lord the Bible says if and um, if we walk if um, you walk in the spirit you will not fulfill the loss of the flesh you're not if you're walking with God you're an example to other people who are not Christians because people will look and say oh so I guess that's what a Christian is meant to be like you know so many times they've seen you know the opposite of what a Christian is, which is in the Bible believing Christian. When your base is on the Word of God, <coughs> excuse me. <coughs> <coughs> when your basis is not on the Word of God, then it doesn't really work for people, because then people are focused on man and focused on people and focused on you know people who will make mistakes. Because we're human beings, we're going to fall, we're going to make mistakes, we're going to do things that are stupid. But it's not by our works or by what we do or by ourselves. It's by faith. Because the reason you got saved was not as a result of, oh, well, because, you know, that Sunday school teacher told you. So, you know, you, it th you thought it was a nice thing or because your friends told you or because your pastor told you. But it's by faith. You, in your own faith, have to seek the face of God. Go to him and you that's what brought you to salvation. It wasn't because, oh, well, I guess I'll have faith today because, you know, 
I heard something nice from the Bible, but then tomorrow I, I, I won't have faith. But that it's a continuous, it's something that you're always having, that you always have faith in God because you know God is always in control. He's always able to do all these things that we cannot do because God knows that our struggle, that we, some things we can't do. And there's some things that we feel that, oh man, I should just give up. I can't do this anymore. But you know, it's the Bible says that, and um, Paul says in thing in Romans or Acts, can't remember, he says that my strength is made perfect in weakness. You know, that our, if that it's having the faith in Christ, knowing that even when we're broken, even when we're sad, even when everything's going wrong, our strength is made perfect in weakness. You know what I mean? That our weakness, or our weakness is made perfect in, you know, in God's strength. Because our, our, our way and our understanding, it can seem impossible. Sometimes we're wondering, you know, God, why did you let this happen? Why didn't you do this? Why didn't you fix that? But, you know, sometimes we don't need to know. We don't need to have an answer. We just need to trust that God can do these things. I mean, if you think about it, um, if you go to verse 7, if we look at Noah, by faith, Noah being warned of God, being, sorry, by faith, Noah, being warned of God of things not seen as yet, moved with fear, prepared an act to the saving of his house, by the which he condemned the world and became heir of righteousness, which he is by faith. Which, there we go, by faith again. And it's so interesting because this verse is so powerful to me as well because it's that, continuing what I'm saying, is that when you see, when you go through situations, there's such a hard time. You're thinking, man, this is so difficult. This is so worrying. What am I going to do here? How am I going to do this? And it's like, and then you know that God is telling you to do something. And, you, and you're kind of like, ah, well, God, is that really God? I mean, that could be something else. Maybe that's not God. Maybe that's my my imagination. Maybe I dreamt that, you know, God was saying that, but he wasn't really. But that's not actually the case. Sometimes we just want to reject those things. Now, sometimes it may not be from God. That's why you have to pray and seek the face of God. The Bible says, seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness. You know, you have to seek God's, God first before anything. But then sometimes Noah built an ark in a place where there was no rain, there wasn't any rain. You know, I mean, the people were looking at him like, you're crazy. Like, what's wrong with you? How could you think that? Well, like, why are you building an ark? Why are you building a boat when there's no water here? There's no, like, I mean, like, what's the point? And he was mocked for it and he was laughed for it. But it was by faith he did what God wanted to do. And if you see in the last verse, which is so cool, it said, he became heir of the righteous of the righteousness, which is by faith. By faith, he became an heir of righteousness. You know what I'm saying? It's that he did what needed to, what he needed to do. And it was all by faith. Because see, sometimes, you know, we feel that hard situations come and we're thinking, God, are you, you, are you really there? You know, or, you know, our faith is tested. But it's the, by that same faith that brought you to salvation. It's that same faith that you remember those past things that God has answered, those blessings. It's by faith that you remember that God is always in control, no matter what the situation is. It's by that same faith that you remember that God will never leave us nor forsake us. That's not just something that's a, that's not a statement, but it's a promise by God. And when we remember those things, we can see the face of God knowing that God is never going to leave us. He's never going to abandon us because he loves us. He cares for us. He wants us to know that he's there. And that's, I mean, that's the evidence. Is our, The evidence is that, you know, our, our what God has done in our past, what God has done for us, you know, through salvation, what God has done um, with the different miracles and blessings that he's bestowed upon us. That's the evidence of what our faith is, that God is always in control. I'm not saying that God is always going to bless you because, I mean, God has to test us, you know, because if he doesn't test us, then, you know, it doesn't really work. I mean, then everything, the Christian life would be easy, but it's not. But it's by faith. And you walk by faith. You know, the Bible says we walk by faith, not by sight. Even if everything was going wrong day in and day out, I don't walk by what I see. I walk by faith. Because, you know, it's kind of like, oh, this is bad, so I guess God's left us. No, it just means God's testing you. I want you to walk by faith. Knowing that, hey, God is the same God of Abraham. He's still the same God of Paul. He's still the same God of Peter. He's still the same God of Noah and Abraham and Sarah. He's still the same God. He does not think like he changes. The Bible says that he never, he doesn't, he's the same today, yesterday, and forevermore. He doesn't change. He is always the same. And when you remember this, we remember that our faith is based on a person that never changes. So we can trust that person. We can trust God. We can trust god with everything that we are because we know that he's always in control and that's pretty much what i pretty much get from this um from hebrews 
chapter 11 verse 1 to 6 well actually plus, plus verse 7 as well so um, that's pretty much what i get from it anyway but anyway i hope this is um a blessing or at least you learned something from this all right much i'm just you know just prayed about this and ask god just to leave me when i was talking but i just don't know <laughs> but i just um hope this is a blessing to you and hope you know, people i've talked about people from solid rock and you know hope that you are still you're walking with god and hope you pray for your pastor and stay encouraged and also with you know um just everything else just everyone else has i talked about just go be your staying um, strong and seeking the face of god so that's pretty much it thanks guys hopefully i will upload another video so yeah. <laughs> there in the ground his body lay, light of the world by darkness slain, then bursting forth in glorious day, up from the grave he rose again, and as he stands.